this is the last set of spiral curve video series uh, here we are going to talk about this list of options to add spiral curves I am not going to talk about fixed spiral so we are hardly using that option but I will discuss the other options first I will discuss the free spiral between two entities option in this option we will be having a single spiral between two entities that two entities can be either spiral uh, either a tangent and a curve or tangent and a tangent or curve and a curve or either one of these options so in here I am using the uh, two tangent option so first I will be clicking here to get that command running so it is asking for the first entity I select the first entity then it is asking for this next entity I will select the next entity it is asking what is your spiral type so in this case you have to understand what is the spiral type we have to use so a spiral means a entity that has changing radius changing radius means it is starting from one radius and changing uh, in a way that it comes to another radius so here in spiral in curve means the radius of the start end of the spiral is high and the radius of the uh, last end or ending end of the spiral is low that means the radius is decreasing so if you take the out curve option in the out curve option your radius at the start end is low and radius at the uh, last or ending side is high so I will go with the in curve option that means uh, radius of the start is high and uh, radius of the ending side is low so I will accept this option so it is asking for my spiral length I will type 30 here so you can see you get this spiral so I right click to enter that option so you can see you have a 30 meter spiral here then I will use this option free spiral free compound spiral and spiral so that means two spirals in the same direction so to go go with that option I will delete this one and I will use this command to get this option free compound spiral spiral between uh, two tangents this one I will use this one sorry for the previous explanation free compound spiral spiral between two tangent uh, options so I will select the first tangent and select the next tangent and it is asking for my sp spiral in length I will type 20 as spiral in length and uh, whether it is asking my uh, direction is greater than 180 or less than 180 so I will use less than 180 option and it is asking for my stab spiral out length I will type 25 as spiral out length so you can see I have two spirals now with one with uh, 20 meter and the other one with 25 meter which is a compound spiral so that is how to add compound spirals and single spirals between two tangents uh, next we will look at how to add spirals between curves here now we have two curves I am going to add this free compound spiral between two curves option here so I select this one it is asking to select my first entity I will select my first entity then I will select my the second entity or the next entity now we are it is asking for the uh, a1 a2 ratio that is a ratio related to spirals otherwise you can add the length ratios so you have two spirals two compound spirals you can add the ratio of the length of this two spirals let us say we have same length spiral here so the length ratio would be 1 into 1 so uh, this is length the length ratio is 1 so you can see it will create a 
similar length to spirals in between these two curves in the uh, in the same direction uh, in between these two curves so that is how to add uh, compound spirals between two curves in the next uh, option we will see how to add a reverse spiral between two curves here now i am going to add the reverse spiral between two curves i am going here i select this option reverse spiral between two curves it is asking for my first entity and next entity i select these of entities then it is asking for the uh, length o a1 a2 option i will use the length option and use this as one so you can see now we have a reverse spiral both are in equal length in between these two curves so how that is how to add a reverse spiral between two curves uh, next we will see how to add free compound spiral between uh, next next we will see how to add free reverse spiral between two curves with spiral length so in that case we will have spiral then we have a line or tangent section and then again you will have a spiral so we will see how to add that option so now we are going to add reverse spiral line spiral option between two curves by giving spiral length so i select this option it is asking for the first entity and the next entity and it is uh, giving asking me my first spiral length i will type it as 15 uh, sorry i think i just missed that so i do it again so i select first entity and the next entity and my first spiral length is 15 and i will close this one for the moment it's 15 and it is asking for my spiral out length i will give it that also as 15 and you can see now i have a curve then a spiral and a tangent section and then again a spiral and a curve so that is how to use free reverse curve reverse spiral line spiral option between two curves with spiral length so in the next we will see how to add uh, free reverse spiral line between uh, two actually i don't have to explain this one in this case you will give the line length instead of the spiral length so these two same as these two are very similar because in this case we are giving the spiral length in this case we are giving the line length that means this length so i i will not explain this one it will can it it can be done in the same way with this one so in the next we will see how to add a free compound spiral line spiral option so now we are going to use this option free compound spiral line spiral so it will give us a spiral line and a spiral between these two curved sections it will be same as this one so this one and this one will be same the only difference is in this case we are giving the spiral length in this case we are giving the line length i will go with this option i select the first entity then it is asking for next entity i will select that one and it is asking the first spiral length so i will give the length as 15 and it is asking for spiral out length i will give that as also 15 and it will give me a compound with spirals with a tangent in between as uh, described in this case so that is how to add spirals in various scenarios when you are developing alignments so in this video series about spirals i have explained you 
how to add simple spirals how to add floating spirals or reverse spirals and how to add more complex spirals here so you can use this option according to your need to add spirals into civil 3d alignments